Good evening, everyone. This is my last video about my card collection, my Oracle collection, and this is probably the last video about Oracle collection in my life. Okay, so right now I just opened this drawer that I keep my cards and it's kind of messy. I haven't cleaned it on purpose or anything like that. And I'm just going to show you what's there. So, first of all, this is uh, incense, which is white sage. And it smells like sage. And I use it to sage the room. Sometimes during my tarot readings, I don't particularly believe in the need of saging, you know, and cleansing and all that. Uh, I usually just pray and use the white light and I imagine that it's done. You know, go through the white light with your room or whatever cards and it's done. So it's by this hem company and it's very, very cheap, these uh, incense sticks, okay? And I buy the whole pack and there's like 10 of them or something like that. So I don't know if they're real, but the smell is like sage. Okay, so first, uh, let's start. This is the oracle that I made. You know it. It's still in the making because I'm coloring the backs. I'm coloring the backs. It's made out of recycled material. So to say, um, so I like making decks on the backs of conflicts boxes and like tea bag boxes. You know, you can use them. <clears throat> Uh, because the, the stock is very good, you know, the paper is very good. So this is the the oracle that I made recently. This is my oracle number one. The next is another oracle. This is the French oracle, and I forgot the name. The oracle. I forgot the name. Can you imagine? So I'm. I liked. I just wanted to draw it, uh, as you know, without any purpose. So this is that oracle with keywords, Berlin, oracle Berlin. And I never read with it for some reason. I think it was all about drawing for me. So next I have this um, French cartomancy deck. It's like French Sibylla. I really love this Sibylla deck. It's I just love the the way the art is. It's 54 cards. It's a nice backs, green backs. It's beige again. It's vintage looking, and it works. It usually works. So yeah, and I do read with it. It doesn't help me with every question that I have in the world. But it does. It is good for relationships. I think it's good for relationships. This is the Kipper deck that I trimmed, um, and Kipper deck is actually great. I don't use it a lot, but <clears throat> I use it sometimes. You know, experiment. I keep experimenting all the time with all different types of decks and oracles. So I don't do the grand tableau with this because it's too confusing for me yet. But I like to pull five cards, seven cards, that sort of thing, you know, for, you know, what happened, what's happening, advice. And it's great uh, when it comes in a line because people's directions, what people are doing, where they're facing, you know, it's a very rich oracle. So this is just, okay, that sort of thing here. This is a playing card deck that I use for learning with keywords and this is for 36 cards, um, you know, when you learn 36 cards, what, so I wrote basically reversals and upright cards and extra meanings, tarot meanings and, it, and things like that. Okay, this is another deck. Uh, kind of trimmed is Indian uh, theme 
folk till deck is a Lenormand, Lenormand deck okay okay next uh, we have a these decks so this is the um, the um, Russian fortune fortune telling cards okay 25 cards and this is the same thing that I redrew I copied this deck uh, by hand to, to create a smaller version of this deck so I could use it on, on a table I guess surface because this is very big so sometimes I have problem in laying it out so this comes with a book as you know Russian fortune telling cards and it's available on Amazon and this is just a handmade version the next is uh, Italian Sibylla this is again 100 times it's been trimmed it was square before now it's rounded so Sibylla also like using um, I think it's pretty easy to 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 read it um, and you know just have to read it you know read with it so yeah this is a Sibylla deck this is the Lenormand deck it's a Russian one I don't know if it's fake or is it original or is it that they make it with the permission or, or uh, of that uh, German company maybe they did maybe they did I don't know but this was very cheap it's borderless it's mini and it's um, you know it's carton not laminated paper I saw it on Amazon and I heard that many people laminated it but I bought it somewhere else it's nice deck it's a nice mini deck which you can do greater blows with now this is the Dutch deck I think it, I bought it a while ago like seven eight years ago and it's still good I still use it I was using today this deck uh, for a grand tableau to see what's happening in my family all the drama and you know and this is again mini size a slightly smaller deck than the normal uh, the blue owl or the you know French cartomancy Lenormand deck this is a little bit smaller so I don't really remember the name of this deck I'm very sorry I don't keep the boxes usually sometimes I keep but then they break and I throw them the next um, is of course the mystic Lenormand deck you know this deck it's not rare it's available everywhere on Amazon book depository everywhere so this is the mystical Lenormand this is the French Cordomancy one this is my first Lenormand deck which I really wanted this deck inspired me to learn Lenormand especially the tower card I found the tower card on the internet by an accident while I was looking for something else you know not I was I didn't know about Lenormand then you know I just found this card this one and I just fell in love with this card I don't know why and I couldn't get uh, find this deck okay that time so I printed it out from the internet and I made this design at the back this is like super mini size just printed it on a four size paper and cut it and then laminated with a cello tape and this was my deck that time I didn't know how to read it I really struggled with it and I think I still have that tower card that inspired me in this bag here okay so I still have it although I, I don't use a lot but I do sometimes use it so this is the same deck basically two times okay next is the Russian version of the gypsy um, oracle 
the gypsy cards again don't know if this is fake or real is it with permission is this the original but it's published by a russian company and it's on the carton and it's the same thing but in russian it's super small the size is a lot smaller than the original deck okay the next is the blue uh, uh, the bluebird Lenormand, you know this. It's on Amazon right now and it's popular. It's not rare or anything like that. So I like this deck because it's thick. It's gonna last for a long time. It's antique, kind of vintage, not modern. Don't usually like modern, uh, that sort of thing. This is the, another Italian Sibylla, the black one with black borders. In the beginning I, re I was really annoyed with it because I didn't want the black borders when I bought it. But the drawing itself is very beautiful, the drawing itself is very nice. And I do use this deck uh, like the other one that I showed you. These are my two Sibylla decks, okay. And this is again from Amazon, nothing rare. Now, these are two Lenormand decks. This is the Rana George Lenormand. And I think I recently used it. That's why it's without the rubber band. Uh, very beautiful deck. Uh, one of the most beautiful ones. Smells nice. The stock quality is amazing. The pictures are amazing. It has gold in it. It has this Arabic feel in it, Lebanese feel in it. Beautiful card, uh, face cards. Ladies with veils, men with uh, turbans or topis or, or hats, you know, so really very nice deck. This is the traditional, you know, German deck, Austrian-German, not sure. It's, um, I like this a lot because of the colors and it's kind of my style you know like poster style kind of thing i really like that sort of bright color and you know poster cartoon i don't know like it okay this is another french it's called french sibylla <laughs> paris sibylla and it's something something weird so it's again this type of thing but it has russian keywords on top and bottom it it has reversed and upright meaning it has like a huge instruction booklet and it's complicated <clears throat> Okay, this is uh, another deck, Indian Solitaire or Pasians that I made. I took these pictures from online. Right now, I think it's not um, being published, this deck, but I used to play with this when I was 13, 14, you know, that sort of thing. And I used to read with this every day, so I had this nostalgic memory of this deck, and I redrew it. It's in my way, it's not exactly the copy. Um, okay, this is the original gypsy deck, Hungarian cards or gypsy uh, cards, and again, it's a popular deck, everybody has it, 36 cards with different images, and I like to use it, you know, not a lot, I'm not good at this, but I play with Sibylla and uh, I play with uh, gypsy cards and all these oracle cards. I'm not really good at them, okay? I'm just like these gypsy cards I use as Lenormand, like three card draws. Uh, usually don't do the tableau, but sometimes I do for, you know, learning purposes. And I love this deck. People say it's ugly, it's boring, but I think it's just beautiful and I just like the simplicity and the stock and many people with whom we did these readings, they said they love this deck as well. And it's pretty cheap. Okay, this is 
the deck with Gunjifa cards, La Scorpio deck, is Indian inspired, it's super cheap when I bought it. And it has these Gunjifa cards, okay, this has uh, images of Gunjifa cards, Indian traditional uh, playing cards. And they have basically just one keyword, music, victory, will. So this works maybe like I Ching or something where you want just one word. You think of a question and you pull one card and you just have sensuality, for example. So this is your answer and I'll think about it all day. So that sort of thing. Next is the blue owl. It's very beautiful um, deck. It's traditional. It's kind of simple, nothing special, but for me it's the most beautiful. So I try not to use it because I want to save it. Because I don't know where will I buy it again. Right now in India, in Amazon, on Amazon, it's not available. And I don't trust usually any other websites. So I don't order. But it's very available. I know it's available everywhere. But I kind of save it for... Um, I have another version. I have another deck that I kind of is worn out and in bad shape. So I use that version. And I try not to use this version that much. So that I can preserve it slightly. Okay. So next, uh, some decks by Paris de Bono. Uh, if you know Paris de Bono. Uh, he is on Facebook and he has a channel on YouTube and he's a teacher of Tarot and Romand and all these things and he has a lot of popular Facebook groups where I used to hang out before but I don't so this is one of his decks it's the find the man cards for women basically it tells you what's your problem why can't you find a man and Basically, it's a special created system. Very funny. Uh, but I lost the meanings, okay? I lost the meanings. How to find a man for women. And there is how to find a woman for men. Again, this is his deck. This is the tattoo deck. And um, it's, again, I'm trying to preserve it so that I don't use it a lot. So it's brand new. Oops. So I really love the big images, kind of the the background, which is not white. It's kind of antique feel, and it's definitely unique. It's definitely unique, like nothing else. So these are very beautiful cards, which kind of I like new. <laughs> so I'm kind of keeping them in this shape. This is the Japanese cards, and as I mentioned, I really love um, different culture, ukiyo-e. I love um, traditions, different, you know, looking people, I don't know. It's So it definitely is like Japanese deck, and very beautiful. The only thing that is not from Amazon, I guess in my collection so to say this this are um, these are the cards that are basically very antique very vintage and uh, i liked it for its for for them looking you know so ancient kind of dull images all fashion things you know that sort of feeling is there like haunted feeling you know so I really love this now this is the yellow Lenormand I think I use this the most and it's again it has something about it it's one of the hit decks in Paris Bono's shop so Many people like this deck because it's so clear, the images are so clear, um, the color is so nice, it's kind of like Van Gogh-ish, you know, that sort of thing you can see there. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, next, um, this is the Game of Hope Lenormand deck, which is, again, on Amazon. It's slightly bigger size, which makes it very difficult to read with. <laughs> but um, because of the beautiful images, you know, I use it. This is Hanafuda cards. 
Hanafuda uh, are Japanese cards <coughs> that you play with. And of course you can invent a way to tell fortunes with it. And I think I saw a book on Kindle or play books uh, on Hanafuda, how to learn Hanafuda by a um, Korean lady or Japanese lady. Because uh, it's not only Japanese, it's also Korean. But in Korean, it's there's another name. So initially I bought this after watching a Japanese drama of Zatoichi. If you know Zatoichi, he is a blind gambler and a samurai who goes and plays Hanafuda cards and wins the money. And I'm sorry, he's not only samurai and blind man and gambler, he's also a masseuse. So he, it's amazing drama. Uh, again, old times and I was in love with that drama okay so he played this kind of for the cards and I wanted these cards because of that drama okay next these are uh, runes of course um, I don't know runes but I have to have runes so these are the runes that me and my daughter ordered I think my daughter is more into them she has she studied them a bit and she has a book and notes and all that with the runes so sometimes I just think of a question I pull a rune and look at her book and her notes what does it mean and I think it's valid I mean information is always kind of the same let's have a look I have many of these broken rubber bands and nail polish of course this is another version of that deck that I illustrated. This is even the smaller one. Um, and this uh, seemed to be too small, so I had to make a bigger one. And I wanted to make a clear looking one, but apparently they both are exactly the same. After making, I realized that I made them exactly the same. So yeah. This is, these are the, uh, Passions cards, this is the um, Kiev Passions, a uh, Russian puzzle, jigsaw, with meanings here, if your image matched, meanings are here, and basically, I have many of them, These don't, don't count because they're just something else. They don't make sense. These are just tarot cards in the same size like Passions. These are the flower ones. Okay, these are the flower ones. It's very simple thing. Um, flower names are written. And whichever flower you got, this flower is explained. What does it mean? Whoops. Okay, so we have here the love and blood patience, and this is of course um, it's actually pretty nice. It looks very simple and kiddish and like a game, but it works. It works and it's very nice. But you have to kind of get used to it. So this is the medi medieval. I would say love and blood is like Don Quixotean. Um, this is also medieval, red colored, and they all are different, so each time you have to kind of work out what the symbols mean, and I would say again, it's better to have only one, because if you have too many, you will not reach anywhere, like with all the decks it's happening. This is the magical, Passions, the magical, and we have tarot cards here, we have things like that here, maybe if you're... Uh, want to see if anyone is doing something bad to you ma magically so this uh, patience could show you although we can do about anything okay what else the, this is these look like patience but they are just gypsy cards and you can just use it like that but it's not the full deck so it doesn't make sense okay doesn't make sense this is the tarot cards. 
<clears throat> instructions and we just have not the complete set of major arcana cards so it also doesn't make sense that much but it's usable you know what else we have the mystery uh, mystery of pyramids mystery of pyramids egyptian themed uh, solitaire or patience these are the feng shui feng shui feng shui Pacians, uh kind of nice color, green, and it's all based on Chinese um, like items from Chinese culture, like la Chinese lamp and uh, the thread, the knot, which I don't know what it means, Chinese coins. So basically, it's pretty difficult because I have to understand what Chinese uh, things mean first. It has an explanation, but it's not that easy because it's hard to remember. This is the old Russian patience, similar to the Kiev. Old Russian is always in black. Black background, colorful pictures. And it's all from Russian fairy tales. Things from fr Russian fairy tales. Okay. Okay, this is Indian patience, super small uh, size. And again, these are instructions extremely hard to understand and read. Um, but possible, okay. And again, these have Indian gods and Indian um, like chi necklace and uh, flowers and basically everything from Indian culture. And if you don't understand what, for example, this bird Geruda is, then it's really hard to understand the whole patience but we have instructions so it takes time for me to read with patience especially because I bought so many of them and um, it's, I'm saying it's better to have just one okay these are Titania's fortune dealing cards which I cut to make a um, mini deck because they were too big and I didn't want too big. This is another Lenormand deck, uh, which uh, got old and worn out and battered, whatever. And I basically cut it down to make this mini sized uh, square card deck. This is um, another deck that I cut, Russian Lenormand. Okay. Okay, this is the cover, empty cover. This is the Lenormand that I made recently. It's inspired with Russian fo uh, folk tales, and it's again for fun and a time pass. And it's in order to have like a small deck to do readings especially a deck that would fit into the screen when I'm doing readings so this is a copy of another deck from the British Museum collection I did reading recently with this deck and these are just post stamp drawings this is Japanese themed handmade deck this is another one which is a feel I like the backs which is a snake but I really don't like the the whole thing that I made here so it's still readable I mean another deck which is instead of this I supposed to make a better version of that it's Indian inspired. It's supposed to be Indian inspired. 
and it's made with these small markers red and black color again time pass okay this is another one which is absolutely bad uh, it's done with the um, gel pen the silver gel pen on the black cardboard or paper you can say it's still kind of readable you can understand the images everything is clear the I had two decks like these one was with um, <clears throat> text and one was was without text so the one which had the text I cut it like this to make a mini deck for Grand Blow because I really need a really small size deck this is another deck which uh, I made and I printed it on these small sized um cards <clears throat> okay one of this is here okay so these are just handmade stuff uh these are another japanese it's another japanese game that uh, it's available to buy from japanese amazon but i decided to make it because i wanted to try and make it it's with uh ink real ink okay and I'm not good with ink, so it was spilling out everywhere. And you do gambling with this as well, like with Hanafuda. So I think the the samurai in the drama, I think he was doing with this as well, gambling or something. This is Hanafuda made by hand with acrylic paint. And I really enjoyed making it. It was such a fun to copy it. So yeah. Whoops, I'm just breaking all the rubber bands today. Okay, this is the Russian Lenormand, the big size. This is another deck I made recently, which is just, I don't know what is the name or what. It's just for fun. Uh, because we had a new packet of felt tips in the house, so I decided to make it. This is uh, Warley inspired, again, um, on the handmade paper, something, something, Alan Orman deck. It's not laminated or anything, it's just this um, handmade paper. It feels very good. This is another deck, uh, Numerology, Astrological Science, Chinese Zodiac. And it's basically to practice, and this is my channel's, um, what do you call it, the profile picture. So again, it's just for practice and learning. This is the one my daughter made. I actually forced her to make when she was small. So I want a Lenormand bag. Please make it for me. So this is the one that she made for me. And actually I colored it because she didn't like coloring. This is the same deck okay this is the same deck and different printouts to small sized for me to do grand blows this is my deck okay uh, the one I drew so and the original is here the original which I made is a lot better because it has this warmer better background color and again i made it when i didn't have any deck when i didn't have any deck in the world bags are made individually and this is made individually so i used to read with this only okay because i couldn't find where to buy a lenormand deck first so lots of passion for this Lenormand, but I didn't find uh, I don't find me being very good at it, you know, when it comes to reading. 
so it's like I feel a lot more comfortable reading tarot for some reason but it's also depends on the situation the question the and this is runes of course handmade runes Uh, which I don't use a lot, but I sometime I wanted it, so I made it and I used. So okay, that's it. This was my collection, and I'm sorry if it's boring or it's kind of messy. And uh, I'm not collecting on purpose. I'm not trying to preserve these cards. I'm not trying to kind of save them. Usually, I'm using all of them. I just use them, and. Um, and yeah, whatever happens, happens. Some of them I, you know, get given to someone else. You know, some of them I, how to say, threw them away and things like that. I've given a lot to my mom and a lot to my daughter who are also doing cards. So this is it. Thank you again for watching this video and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.